In the fickle world of Hollywood, it's just as easy for a star to rise to fame as it is for them to fall out of the public's good graces. A couple of box office flops, some personal issues, or just the decision to take time off could spell career disaster. The once iconic actors and actresses who used to grace the silver screen have seemingly vanished from the spotlight. Have you ever wondered where they disappeared? Well, grab some popcorn and prepare for a captivating behind-the-scenes exploration of individuals Hollywood seems to have left behind and why they were banned. Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan, once a prominent figure in Hollywood, left an indelible mark with her roles in blockbuster films like Scream, Jawbreaker, and the popular TV series Charmed. As the 2000s unfolded, she stood at the pinnacle of her career, captivating audiences with her talent. However, her abrupt disappearance from screens left fans puzzled and curious about the reasons behind her sudden exit. The turning point in McGowan's life and career came with her accusations against the infamous film producer Harvey Weinstein, alleging sexual assault. In the wake of the Me Too movement, McGowan emerged as a vocal advocate for survivors of abuse, shedding light on the darker aspects of the industry. She bravely spoke out against Weinstein, claiming that her ordeal led to her being blacklisted in Hollywood. The decision to take legal action against Weinstein was a contemplation that McGowan seriously considered. However, she faced the harsh reality of the legal landscape and was advised that the chances of winning such a case were low. The complexities of battling a powerful figure in the industry added to the challenges she confronted. Cameron Diaz Cameron Diaz, celebrated for her vibrant presence on the silver screen, made a significant decision that diverged from the trajectory of many Hollywood stars. Unlike instances of bans or disappearances, Diaz made a deliberate choice to step away from the entertainment industry, opting for a life centered around her marriage and personal fulfillment. Her journey in Hollywood began with remarkable success, particularly gaining widespread recognition for her role in the critically acclaimed film There's Something About Mary in 1998. Diaz quickly became a household name, admired for her versatility and engaging performances in various genres. However, her life took a turn when she found the love of her life. Following her heart, she made the conscious decision to settle down and prioritize her personal life over her thriving career. The official announcement of Cameron Diaz's departure from acting came in March 2018. Since then, she has been steadfast in rejecting numerous acting offers. This deliberate step away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood is a testament to Diaz's desire for a more balanced and fulfilling life outside the spotlight. Jessica Alba Navigating the competitive landscape of Hollywood can be challenging, and a less-than-stellar resume can indeed pose hurdles, even for established actors like Jessica Alba. Her career, marked by five Razzie nominations and one win, has faced its share of disappointments, with films like Fantastic Four, Awake, and The Eye, contributing to a less-than-impressive track record. While Alba attempted to deflect some of the criticism by attributing her challenges to subpar scripts and first-time directors, the industry's perception of her work took a hit. Notably, major publications like the New York Times didn't mince words, describing her acting as vapid. Such critiques, coming from reputable sources, indicate a broader concern about the quality of roles Alba chose during that phase of her career. The weight of working on less-than-ideal projects appears to have left a lasting impact on Alba. In a revealing admission to Elle magazine in 2010, she shared that a director once instructed her to cry pretty, a directive that underscored the industry's sometimes superficial expectations. This experience, coupled with the challenges of working on films that received critical backlash, led Alba to consider leaving acting altogether. Her revelation that she really stopped acting at 27 points to a significant shift in her career priorities. Recent interviews further highlight that acting has taken a back seat, indicating a shift in focus. Beyond the realms of Hollywood, 
Jessica Alba has redirected much of her energy towards her family and entrepreneurial ventures. In August 2017, she joyously announced that she was expecting her third child, underscoring her commitment to motherhood. On the business front, Alba has been a driving force behind The Honest Company, a consumer goods brand she co-founded. The company, initially valued at over $1 billion in 2015, has unfortunately faced its fair share of challenges. Legal troubles, including several lawsuits over the years, have impacted the brand's reputation and financial standing. Notably, a class-action lawsuit targeted ingredients in the Honest Company's laundry detergent, dish soap, and multi-purpose cleaner. The culmination of this legal battle resulted in a settlement amounting to $155 million. Jessica Biel, Jessica Biel, initially propelled to stardom by the hit show Seventh Heaven, experienced a meteoric rise in popularity during its run. However, the conclusion of the series marked a turning point as Biel grappled with the challenge of maintaining her star status in the competitive realm of Hollywood. Despite her involvement in numerous romantic comedies, a genre that allowed her to refine her acting prowess, Biel found herself gradually fading from the limelight. This shift prompted questions from her supporters, who were left wondering about the absence of leading roles or prominent appearances on both the small and big screens. The Hollywood landscape, it seems, hasn't cast Biel in significant roles for an extended period. This absence can be attributed to a combination of factors. Some argue that her lack of distinctiveness in a highly competitive industry makes her easy to overlook. Moreover, a report from the New York Daily News suggests that Biel's earlier engagements were primarily based on her appearance rather than her acting talent. In response to these challenges, there have been suggestions for Biel to take proactive steps to rejuvenate her career. Hiring an acting coach and participating in projects that highlight her acting prowess rather than her looks could potentially reshape the narrative around her in Hollywood. A representative emphasizing the need to showcase her true acting abilities remarked, Maybe a beautiful girl, but her acting skills aren't up to par. She has yet to demonstrate that she's a true actor. Jessica Beale's journey through Hollywood has encountered various challenges, leading to a significant hiatus from the spotlight. One potential factor contributing to this hiatus is her reported over-reliance on her well-known spouse, actor, and singer, Justin Timberlake. According to insights from the New York Daily News, the dynamics of Beale's career are further complicated by the perceived lack of strong box office results for her films. None of her projects, as reported, managed to achieve notable success, failing to secure a spot in the coveted $100 million club. This commercial aspect has undeniably played a role in shaping the trajectory of Biel's Hollywood career. Alicia Cuthbert Alicia Cuthbert, a Canadian actress who once appeared poised to become Hollywood's next major female star, experienced a meteoric rise before seemingly fading from the industry's spotlight. Her breakthrough performances in films like The Girl Next Door and House of Wax, where she shared the screen with Chad Michael Murray and Jared Padalecki, garnered attention and acclaim. However, the trajectory of her Hollywood journey took an unexpected turn, and she has been noticeably absent from the scene since 2017. The reasons behind Cuthbert's disappearance from Hollywood are complex, and one particularly notable incident involves harsh criticism directed at her dating choices. The actress faced unwarranted scrutiny for her relationships with two members of the same hockey team. This criticism, widely regarded as unreasonable and baseless, adds an unfortunate layer to the challenges actors often face in maintaining their standing in the competitive and sometimes unforgiving realm of showbiz. Jennifer Love Hewitt Jennifer Love Hewitt, who entered the limelight as a former child star, faced the challenge of transitioning from the demanding world of child acting to maintaining relevance in Hollywood. Despite putting significant effort into her career from a young age, Hewitt's journey took a particular trajectory, and certain factors contributed to her eventual fade from the spotlight. 
Hewitt's early career showcased her dedication and versatility, taking on at least one project per year until 2015. Her involvement in the popular show Kids Incorporated, which aired from 1989 to 1991, marked a significant period of her career. In the late 90s, she navigated incredibly hectic schedules, appearing in six movies, TV series, and even releasing a music video in 1998, riding on the popularity wave as America's favorite girl-next-door sweetheart in the 90s and 2000s, Hewitt's gradual disappearance from public view prompts reflection on the industry's expectations and the shifting dynamics actors encounter as they navigate different stages of their careers. Jennifer Love Hewitt's decision to step away from the spotlight was influenced by a combination of personal choices and the challenges posed by the media landscape. She candidly expressed her readiness to start a family, a pivotal moment in her life that signaled a shift in priorities. Tired of the sexist media, Hewitt found herself navigating an industry that often scrutinizes and perpetuates stereotypes, especially for women. Her decision to step back from acting also involved dealing with online negativity. Hewitt, like many public figures, faced trolls and criticism on social media platforms. In response to the harsh online environment, she chose to disengage from Twitter. Acknowledging that no director wants to work with someone unable to handle criticism, whether constructive or not, Hewitt emphasized the importance of maintaining a positive and supportive atmosphere in life. However, her departure from Twitter turned out to be a temporary hiatus. Despite the initial proclamation of leaving the platform, Hewitt eventually returned and resumed tweeting frequently. Catherine Kegel Catherine Heigl's journey in Hollywood took an unexpected turn, largely attributed to the fallout from her outspokenness and controversial comments. The pivotal moment came in 2008 when she publicly criticized the Judd Apatow comedy Knocked Up, a film that played a significant role in establishing her film career. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Heigl labeled the movie as a little sexist and criticized its portrayal of women, describing them as shrews, humorless, and uptight. She went further, expressing her struggle with the role, stating, I'm playing such a b ah, it was hard for me to love the movie. Heigl's candor extended beyond the big screen to her television career. In the same year, she cast Shadows on Grey's Anatomy and its showrunner, Shonda Rhimes, by withdrawing from the Emmy nominations race. Her statement about not receiving material worthy of an Emmy nomination raised eyebrows, and she emphasized her commitment to maintaining the integrity of the Academy organization by withdrawing her name from contention. The fallout from Katherine Heigl's controversial remarks had a lasting impact on her relationships within the industry. Both Judd Apatow and Shonda Rhimes, key figures in Hollywood, did not make efforts to reconcile with Heigl following the public criticisms she directed at their projects. In the aftermath of these controversies, Heigl's career trajectory took a hit, marked by a series of romantic comedies that failed to resonate with audiences. The once prominent actress found herself associated with the perceived decline in quality within the genre. Persistent rumors about on-set difficulties circulated, potentially contributing to significant shakeups within her management and public relations teams. Her last widely released film, Unforgettable, 2017, faced challenges at the box office, struggling to recoup its $12 million budget domestically. This financial setback added another layer to Heigl's Hollywood narrative, reflecting the broader challenges faced by actors when their careers take a downturn. Taylor Momsen Taylor Momsen's trajectory in the entertainment industry began at an incredibly young age, with her parents enrolling her in the modeling industry when she was just two years old. Despite the early start, Momsen has expressed dissatisfaction with her introduction to the world of modeling, stating, No two-year-old wants to be working, but I had no choice. Her career gained significant momentum with a breakout role as Cindy Lou Who in How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Subsequently, she secured various notable roles in children's productions, 
setting the stage for her big break as Jenny Little J. Humphrey on the popular TV series Gossip Girl. However, despite the promising start, Momsen's acting career came to an abrupt halt after her tenure on Gossip Girl. The transition from a child actor to an adult performer can be a challenging phase for many in the industry, and Momsen's journey reflects the complexities that young talents face as they navigate the evolution of their careers. The decision to step away from acting at a relatively early stage is multifaceted, involving personal choices, industry dynamics, and the pursuit of different artistic endeavors. Taylor Momsen's journey in the entertainment industry took a significant turn as her dissatisfaction with Hollywood grew, and her trajectory shifted towards a music career. This transition led to her practically tucking her Screen Actors Guild, SAG, card away, symbolizing a departure from mainstream acting. The transformation of Momsen's image, evolving from the good girl next door aesthetic to a goth inspired, raccoon eyed rock front woman, marked a departure from her earlier roles. The producers of Gossip Girl responded to this shift by reducing her role on the show, ultimately dropping her as a serious regular in season five. Undeterred by the decreasing presence in Hollywood, Momsen embraced her music career wholeheartedly, taking on the role of the lead singer for The Pretty Reckless. The band achieved a historic milestone in 2016 by becoming the first to send its initial four entries to the top of the Billboard Mainstream Rock Songs chart. This success in the music industry highlights Momsen's ability to reinvent herself and find success in a different artistic realm. While Hollywood producers may not be actively pursuing Momsen for acting roles, her flourishing music career suggests that she has found a new avenue for creative expression. The crowded interest from record executives further underscores her impact on the music scene and the doors that have opened for her beyond the realm of traditional acting. Julia Stiles Similar to the career trajectories of Freddie Prince Jr. and Jennifer Love Hewitt, Julia Stiles faced a downturn in the mid-2000s. Despite early success, films like a Guy Thing, 2003, and Mona Lisa Smile didn't meet expectations at the box office. In response to this shift, Stiles opted for smaller projects, including the 2006 remake of The Omen and the lesser-known David Mamet film, Edmund. However, she found stability in the Jason Bourne franchise. During this period, Stiles delved into behind-the-scenes work, marking what she describes as the second phase of her career, as revealed in a 2010 interview with the New York Times. Despite this shift, she expressed a desire to reclaim her position in the A-list. In the interview, she reflected on the fickle nature of the industry, stating, I think audiences, producers and directors included, develop crushes on actors, actresses in particular, and then lose interest and move on to the next one. Styles acknowledged the challenge of sustaining interest, but expressed her ambition to be among the actors who captivate audiences by continually improving their craft. Regrettably, Julia Stiles faced a setback in 2016 when her involvement in the Bourne franchise concluded with the demise of her character in the fifth installment led by Matt Damon. This marked a transition to less notable film projects coupled with a miniseries for British television titled Riviera, which, unfortunately, received critical disapproval. In light of these developments, one might speculate on potential avenues for styles to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood. Given the current trend of nostalgia-driven content, there's the prospect of capitalizing on this wave. Perhaps a revisit to her acclaimed film Save the Last Dance, could be in the cards, or considering the existence of a sequel. Why not entertain the idea of a threequel? While such propositions might be lighthearted, they underscore the creative possibilities that an actor like Julia Stiles could explore in a dynamic industry where reinvention is often key to longevity. Ashley Green Despite the resounding success of The Twilight Saga, Ashley Green faced challenges in gaining traction beyond the blockbuster franchise. While actively pursuing opportunities outside the vampire-themed series, 
her endeavors often went unnoticed. Notably, her involvement in the indie film Butter in 2011, despite featuring a star-studded cast, failed to garner critical acclaim and struggled at the box office. Furthermore, Green's role in the film was notably small, contributing to its limited impact. Beyond the realm of Twilight, Green's foray into other projects did not yield significant financial success. Among her post-franchise works, The Apparition stands out as the only non-Twilight credit to surpass the $1 million mark at the box office, albeit earning just under $5 million domestically. Considering the film's budget of $17 million, the financial performance was deemed unfavorable, marking a challenging initiation for Green as a leading figure in a movie. In addition to her challenges in the film industry, Ashley Green encountered hurdles in her small-screen pursuits. Pan Am, a high-budget ABC drama set against the backdrop of the airline industry's golden era in the 60s, faced an unfortunate fate, being grounded permanently after just one season. Green's involvement in the Canadian police drama Rogue spanned two seasons, but concluded with the show's cancellation. While the fate of these series was beyond Green's control, they contributed to the complexities of her career journey. Post-television setbacks, Ashley Green has experienced significant personal milestones. She embarked on the journey of marriage and motherhood, embracing new roles beyond the entertainment industry. Simultaneously, she continued to take on roles in smaller productions, showcasing her commitment to the craft and resilience in the face of challenges. Sarah Michelle Geller. Despite her initial success with the cult classic Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sarah Michelle Geller faced challenges in maintaining her momentum in the entertainment industry. The iconic show, which ran from 1997 to 2003, established Geller as a notable figure in television. However, transitioning to new projects post-Buffy proved to be a complex task. While Geller secured roles in subsequent ventures, like the TV series Ringer, these projects didn't achieve the same level of success as her earlier endeavors. Ringer, in particular, faced setbacks and ran for only one season, a circumstance influenced by a creative disagreement between Geller and the show's producers. Notably, Geller advocated for the show to be a limited series. However, the prevailing industry sentiment favored longer seasons, creating financial challenges for more concise, limited series formats. In addition to the challenges faced by Ringer, there was a significant life change that further complicated the possibility of a season two. Sarah Michelle Geller revealed, I got pregnant with my second child, which was a surprise, so I turned to CW like, I can't. Following this period, Geller took on her next major TV role in 2013, starring alongside the late Robin Williams in The Crazy Ones. Unfortunately, the show met an untimely end after just one season, marked by Williams' tragic death by suicide in August 2014. The profound impact of these concurrent events, including postpartum challenges, managing two children, and mourning the loss of a dear colleague, prompted Gellar to make a poignant decision to step away from acting for a while. Reflecting on this challenging period, Gellar expressed, Everything hit me all at once. Postpartum, two children, Robin's death. Despite the difficulties, Gellar's resilience and commitment to her craft are evident as she made a return to television in 2023 with the Paramount Plus series Wolf Pack, signaling a new chapter in her acting journey. Catherine Zeta Jones. Catherine Zeta Jones, once a prominent figure in the film industry, has noticeably been absent from significant big screen roles in recent years. Instead, she appears to have shifted her focus towards television, but her TV endeavors have not been without controversy. In 2017, the star took on a role in the FX series Feud, Betty and Joan, portraying the iconic old Hollywood actor Olivia de Havilland. However, Zeta Jones's portrayal of Havilland stirred up a considerable amount of discontent. Olivia de Havilland herself expressed dissatisfaction with how she was depicted in the series, leading to a legal dispute.
Haviland took substantial action by filing a lawsuit against FX, citing infringement of common law right of publicity and alleging invasion of privacy and unjust enrichment. This legal confrontation added a layer of complexity to Zeta Jones's television endeavors, showcasing the challenges that can arise when portraying real life figures, especially when those figures are still alive to voice their concerns. The legal dispute between Catherine Zeta Jones and Olivia de Havilland extended beyond issues of portrayal in the FX series Feud, Bet, and Joan. Haviland's dissatisfaction reached a point where her legal team highlighted concerns about the depiction of her relationship with her sister in the series. Attorney Suzelle Smith, as reported by The Hollywood Reporter, pointed out that Zeta Jones's de Havilland character referred to Joan Fontaine as her bumming sister, a term deemed offensive and inconsistent with Olivia de Havilland's renowned reputation for good manners, class, and kindness. Adding to the controversies, Zeta Jones faced criticism for her portrayal of Colombian drug Lord Griselda Blanco in the Lifetime movie Cocaine Godmother, The Griselda Blanco Story. Critics argued that the casting of Zeta Jones, who is not Latina, contributed to an inaccurate representation of Blanco. Amidst these controversies, Zeta Jones has also chosen roles that sparked discussions about cultural authenticity in Hollywood. Despite the controversies, she shared her perspective on her career and life in a 2021 interview with The New Yorker, stating, I enjoy the fruits of my labor. I work hard and I reward myself. This insight into Zeta Jones's mindset suggests that her current lower profile in the spotlight may be a deliberate choice as she takes time to savor the accomplishments and rewards of her successful career. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes, once celebrated as a top teen star with a promising career trajectory, found herself at the center of a tumultuous period marked by back-to-back -back arrests and controversial behavior. This series of challenges ultimately prompted Bynes to make a drastic decision to completely withdraw from the entertainment industry. At a mere 24 years old in 2010, she shocked fans and industry observers by announcing her retirement through a since-deleted tweet, as reported by Entertainment Weekly. In her tweet, Bynes conveyed a straightforward but impactful message about her decision. If I don't love something anymore, I stop doing it. This concise statement encapsulated her rationale for stepping away from acting, indicating a profound shift in her relationship with the profession. Bynes explicitly declared her waning passion for acting as the primary reason for her abrupt exit, stating, I don't love acting anymore, so I've stopped doing it. The boldness of her decision to retire at such a young age, 24, added an element of surprise to her departure from the spotlight, leaving her fans and the industry wondering about the factors that led to this significant career shift. In recent years, Amanda Bynes appears to have undergone a remarkable transformation, signaling a positive shift in her life trajectory. In a revealing 2018 interview with Paper Magazine, Bynes shared a more nuanced perspective on the turbulent period during which she made headlines for outrageous tweets and legal troubles. Behind the scenes, she was contending with substance abuse issues, a struggle that she successfully confronted. The star proudly disclosed that she had been sober for nearly four years, highlighting a significant milestone in her journey towards personal growth and well-being. Moreover, Bynes demonstrated her commitment to personal and professional development. In 2019, she achieved a noteworthy accomplishment by graduating from California's Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, FIDM. This educational milestone not only showcased her dedication to academic pursuits, but also hinted at a newfound focus and determination in her life. Subsequently, in 2022, she took another proactive step by enrolling in cosmetology school, showcasing a diverse range of interests and a commitment to acquiring new skills. The positive transformations in Bynes's life extended beyond her educational pursuits. 
According to Kathy Gilbert, FIDM Assistant Dean of Admissions, instructors at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising held a high regard for Bynes. Describing her as a standout student, Gilbert emphasized Bynes's intelligence, active participation in class, and overall impressive academic performance. This newfound dedication to education and personal development provides a compelling narrative of resilience and growth, suggesting that Amanda Bynes is embracing a positive and constructive chapter in her life. Here are just a few actors who have been excluded from Hollywood in various ways. They all breached the unwritten codes of Hollywood, while some opted to prioritize their personal lives or pursue a different path. Share your thoughts on which actor you'd most like to see. Make a comeback in the comments below. And as always, remember to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Until next time.